Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a Before You Summon on the new Voiced Vanilla Ice and Voiced Iggy. These two units, as you saw on one of my previous videos, are coming on the 22nd of this month, which is two days from the time of recording. And I want to discuss some things about the units before you go in and summon, because their abilities have been shown, and I think we need to talk about it. So yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So we're going to start off with Voiced Iggy. Now I will throw up Voiced Iggy's skill on screen here. Basically what Voiced Iggy does is he spawns 8 block panels, and they happen to spawn in that same area where Gur is notorious for putting his block panels. But then his second part of his ability is every panel that spawns for a certain amount of time will be a partner panel. And we don't know how long it is because Iggy's kind of weird. He doesn't actually have like a timer going down on his skill. Like normally units like a voice old Joseph or Gur or any well any time stopper for that fact. You know when their time stop duration is about to end or their ability duration is about to end because their stars slowly trickle back down. Iggy doesn't do that. Right as you use Iggy's skill, it goes back to the start. So it's kind of unclear how long Iggy's effect lasts on his ability. But, I mean, this ability, it's kind of flashy at first. But when you really start to think about it, this ability is actually really bad. So... First start, he places eight block panels, which is, my god, eight block panels, and where those block panels are, kills him. You will not be able to run him with Fortero, because he spawns those block panels, and even if you did run him with Fortero, you wouldn't be able to match into time stop. Because he spawns too many, he literally spawns constant Fortero, so you're going to run out of tiles to tap way too quickly. So he's an awful Fordor partner. The only partner that people are saying he might work well with is Gur. Because with Gur, he, since Iggy is making it to where it's constantly spawning block, or not block panels, when it's constantly spamming partner panels, that could be very good for Gur. But the problem is we don't know how long it goes on for. And I feel they're going to find a way to make it to where he doesn't work perfectly with Gur like that. Because... It would just, you'd be able to literally use Gur infinitely because every single screen would be partner panels, unless Iggy has some max to how many he can replace, which that's maybe likely. In fact, I'd say that's probably the most likely, but from what I've heard, his ability is a time duration instead of a number. So we won't know until we get the skill level screen for that. But so far, voiced Iggy, not very good. And another small nitpick I really don't like the lines they picked for Iggy. I don't think they picked very good ones. Lily, uh, him saying the fool at the start of his line is like the best one. I especially hate his attack animation where he just makes this ungodly noise. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just, it's so weird. I don't know why they picked that for his line, but overall, voice diggy, he's definitely not the highlight here. And even then, the quote unquote highlight isn't very good either. Voiced Vanilla Ice. I'm going to throw his skill video on screen right now. What he does is he drags panels down by their color and intensifies them. And he does this repeatedly, which is actually pretty good. You can see from the skill video, he intensifies a ton. But he has one thing that could make or break him. After his ability, he will spawn two block panels. Falling block panels, mind you. So it's maybe worse. I'm not sure if you'd consider it worse than normal block panels. But he spawns block panels, basically. He spawns those little falling ones where... And that's... I just don't think that's good. They're also intensified, by the way. But that kind of stuff always gets in v Fortero's way. So the real kind of... It's just going to come down to like, oh, you know... Is his damage going to make it worth using instead of, you know, another partner? You know, can he out damage V Riz or V Trish or now you could call him Koichi? So is it really worth, you know, having after stand up to make two boxes without dropping combo just to get rid of the panels that he spawned? I'm not so sure it will be. It's really hard to say. 
I mean, it could go either way, honestly. It really just depends, you know, if maybe someone gets a Max Awakened, gets some SL4, maybe we can find out if he's worth it. But overall, just from a first impressions, I think both of these guys are very weak. I think these are very weak first impressions of the characters. So that's why I recommend not summoning. These characters just don't seem like they're worth it to me. I'm sure that they're not worth it. You know, Iggy definitely is not the best one here. And Vanilla Ice has potential. But I think if Vanilla, Voice Vanilla Ice is going to be good, you are going to have to max awaken him, get him to level 80, get him to skill level 4, and then even then you're going to have to actively play really well to make him work. Instead of just using like someone like Voice Trish, who just works really well by herself. And it is an Aura Aura banner, by the way. I didn't mention that. So it's going to be 450 for a multi, 50 for a single, and their rates will be 1.5 each. Not bad, but not great either. So yeah, I do think you should skip this one, guys. I just don't see this being a very good banner or these units being very good. So yeah, that's really all I had to say about them. I just kind of wanted to vent because I'm actually kind of disappointed in the units. So yeah, thank you all for stopping by. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.